ideal Valentine's Day would be, you know, they buy me flowers, sweet gentlemen. Um, probably go out to eat, nice restaurant, pay for my dinner, of course, and then just hang out, watch a movie, something super chill, low key. Yeah. My biggest red flag would have to be like being disrespectful to their parents or teachers. Like it's just, no. Don't. I think it depends on the vibe they give off and like what you're doing. But I, I think it just depends. Yes or no, I don't know. Maybe. My ideal Valentine's Day date would be going camelback riding. Shit. My ideal Valentine's date is going out to a movie and getting something to eat, probably. I guess my ideal day would be, you know, the typical Valentine's Day thing, get her roses, maybe go to eat, uh, go hang out at the park, go hang out at the park, and I guess we'll just see where that goes. My biggest red flag is whenever like they're pl they're watching Netflix and I'm trying to play video games and they're making me lag like you can just wait until I'm done playing. Uh, my biggest red flag is uh, I'm really protective over what's mine, you know. Just yeah. What's mine's mine. My biggest red flag in a girl is when they don't respect their parents, I don't know. Okay. Uh yeah, I'll kiss on the first date, but if they're ugly then hell no. Absolutely. I kiss on the first day. first day. I do not kiss on the first date. All right, so I'm here with Molly Jones, our bachelorette, and we have the reviews back from the boys. So the first contestant for what is your ideal Valentine's date said, flowers, out to eat, chill at the park, and let the rest flow. Okay. For their the next question for contestant one is what is your biggest red flag? And he said that he is very overprotective. What's mine is mine. For the third question, do you kiss on the first date? Contestant one said, I absolutely do kiss okay. on the first date. Okay. So, what, you got any wise words for that, contestant one? Red flag? I don't know. It's kind of an ache of mine. Yeah. But, I mean, the date idea was good. It was really close to mine, so. Yeah, the whole flowers was good. But, yeah, the ick. All right, so for contestant number two, his ideal Valentine's date is camelback riding. I don't know where you're going to do okay. that here. Maybe you're gonna, he's going to fly you out to Israel. Maybe. Israel or that might be fun. The desert and go camelback riding. We'll see what his ideas are on that. But his biggest red flag is when he is trying to play Fortnite and his girl is on TikTok and she's making the game lag. I don't know about that one. What I do you don't think, know. Molly? Yeah. All right. Well, for kissing on the first date, he says yes. But if they're not hot, then definitely not. So, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Yeah. All right. Well, contestant number three. For the ideal Valentine's date, he wants to do movie and dinner. Um, his biggest red flag goes along with yours. He hates when people disrespect their parents. Okay. Yeah. And for kissing on the first date, he's not a fan. He says no. Really? Yeah. So you got anything uh, for those three? Number two, sorry, but that one just didn't really stick out to me. Number one and three, I don't know. Number one and I mean, three, it's pretty decent, right yeah. There. All right, so let's go back to what you said. Okay. So, your ideal Valentine's date had flowers. So did contestant number one. He would like to chill after, get bite to eat, and let the rest of the night just flow. So that's what he says about the ideal Valentine's date. And he would totally kiss, is what he says. But contestant number three says movie and a dinner date, but he wouldn't give you flowers. Is that a deal breaker? But Maybe. he also would not kiss you on the first date. Got any words? Do I have to pick one now? No, you can ponder for a few days, okay. you know. Get Might some have feeling to about what really is to your heart, but we'll come back with um, who will be Molly's Valentine's date. So we are now bringing in the three contestants and Molly is going to reveal who she picked. Three contestants, please stand right back here. Number one, 
number two, and number three. All right, Molly, what number did you pick? I chose number one. She chose contestant number one. Wait, are they gonna be on this side? Oh my gosh. I actually had no idea.